Good morning. Welcome back to Pouring Through Life. I saw this leaf on another person's site. Um, it's I saw I had to go back and look who it was because I couldn't remember. It was a pain in the butt to tape off everything. Let me tell you, that took forever. And I'm not even done. I still would have to go through and clean up this entire side. But since I'm only doing one side at a time, this side looks good enough. Uh, I believe this is pine. My husband would know, but he's not here right now. So I'm kind of trying to go with the fall. Uh, anyways, back to what I was thinking before I got sidetracked. Um, I saw it on Waterfall Acry Acrylics and she did uh, both sides and it looked incredibly awesome and I thought hey why not I found one I, I could only find one at Target so I've got one and I'm gonna do this one today it's gonna take me a couple of days because it'll have to dry in between coats and what have you and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the outer edge if I'm gonna stain it leave it natural it's all gonna be it's all gonna depend depend on if the tape worked from keeping the paint getting on it if the tape didn't work then I'm gonna paint it black so that's the game plan my paint colors today are Pebier Studios iridescent blue green folk art emerald green uh, 24 karat gold by deco art dragonfly glaze blue green gold shift I'm gonna do two cell activators. I'm gonna do Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet with XIM and Amsterdam Titanium White with XIM. Two items, one cell activator. All right, so my house paint, which is my pillow paint, I'm, I'm still undecided on how I wanna do this. I'm probably just gonna do a, a pillow. Actually, I'm gonna put down a little bit and spread it everywhere first, because that worked good on the mermaid. So I'm gonna start with that. Start with a little bit. Spread it out. Seemed to work better on the mermaid for getting the paint where it needed to go. It doesn't have to be super thick. Um, I'm trying to debate if I wanna tilt or if I wanna spin. And on Waterfall Acrylics, she spun hers, and it looked really cool. So maybe I'll do that, since this is kind of a copy of what she did. It's funny, I, I, had to, I didn't actually see her video of how she did it until just now. Because I couldn't remember who did it. I kind of remembered, you know, her what she looked like and what she did, so I just did a search. And sure enough, I subscribed to her channel, so I was excited about that. Because I always like to give people credit. If I learn something for you, from you, I try to make sure I, I give credit um, to those I learn from. And in this one, I would have never saw, looked for this item at all without having saw it on her page. So thank you, Waterfall Acrylics, for the inspiration for this project. Okay, so I'm going to put a puddle now. So I, I really do think it makes a difference when the paint is over the entire item first. I don't know why. just has a soft, gives it a, a, a spot to kind of spread across a little bit easier, I think. Alright, I still haven't quite decided the order. I'm probably going to go do darkest to lightest and then I'm going to put the purple cell activator down before I put the white so that that way the white can glow so this is the folk art color shift emerald green This is the Dragonfly Glaze Blue Green Gold Shift.
if you want to learn how I mix pouring medium, because um, I mix my traditional pouring medium into my house paint to help with paint quality issues. So I did a video, because uh, I get asked a lot how I make pouring medium, and so I did a video about pouring, you know, how I make pouring media. That does not include bloom pouring medium. So I'm gonna have to do a video on that. Unfortunately, I just mixed it without even thinking recently. And I just, for some reason, didn't even occur to me I should have did a video on it. It's not super complicated. It's three parts untinted house paint, deep base house paint, high gloss enamel with one part poly acrylic so I do that normally in tablespoons um, but because I mix up a giant jug of it, it saves me time in the long run if I want to add new colors I literally have I'll pull it out this is my pouring medium for blooms I keep it in this giant jug and when I need it, I pour it into little bottles like this. Um, yeah. So that's how I do it. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more of the Dragonfly Glaze on this. And I hope this doesn't turn yucky colored, but we'll see. Okay. Call that good. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the cell activators, which I'm gonna do the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. And on top of that, I'm gonna put the Titanium White version. And these are both XIM with the, house, with the paint. And I shook it on accident, so unfortunately, I've got it dripping all over me. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. This is an experiment. Never done a maple leaf before. I have also haven't done the light and dark with the cell activators yet. I've done the two different lights. And I like that. That always turns out really neat. Okay. I forgot to torch it, so let me do that. And let me just rotate this again. All right, let me get my hair dryer. This is really cool. goodness I couldn't be any happier with that let's let it sit and develop I'm just gonna take some of this and put it on the ends and see if I can do that without having to do much tilting cool color scheme that is. That might be my next coaster scheme. I couldn't be any happier with this. Honestly, this is a beautiful color scheme. Super excited. Okay, so do I spin or do I leave it? Do I spin or do I leave it? Cool, babe. Oh, do I spin to spin or not to spin? That is the question. To spin or not to spin. Oh gosh, that's so good though. So, look at how awesome that looks, you guys. All right, let's just give it a little one. So we can get those tips cleared off. Thank you. 
paint from flying all over my house. I try to do the spinning um, outside, not inside. Let's go the other way. Oh my goodness, that is a really beautiful color combination, you guys. <sighs> Love it. I need this tip to finish getting spun out. I don't know if I'm going the wrong way to have that happen or not. We'll see. It's looking like a drip. Oh, that's better. My question for you guys is how many people have used two cell activators one bloom because I'm pretty happy with what that looks like um, I think it's beautiful I want kind of want that let me just just do a baby blow Open up. That's better. That's better. And this one right here. That's better. I like that better. That's really it. <laughs> That's so gorgeous. I'm so happy I did this. Oh. The emerald green complements the Pebeo Studio really well. Uh, let me just, I see a bubble or two. So let me just go over this again. I don't know if I'm gonna do any more blooms that don't get spun. I love the result of a bloom being spun. Okay, so now because I want to try this on something else, I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to move it to a drying spot. Um, where, I don't know. How about off to, probably just off to the side here. Um, and I'm going to throw a tile up, a bigger tile. Uh, maybe a six by six just to see, because that would be comparable to this. If I could make a, might be a good compliment piece for this, would be a tile trim it or two. And then, you know, with Thanksgiving coming up, maybe it might be a really pretty table decoration. And I don't know about, I don't, my family, we are a sit in the living room, watch football kind of family. So most likely that's what we'll be doing um, on any holiday. Let me get a tile here. Whoa, did I just want paint on that? Oh, yes, I did. Let me just touch my round tabletop like a dummy. Okay, Meg, just a minute. Oh, have I told you how much I love XIM? <laughs> All my videos for the last week have been trusting it out. Just want to make sure there's nothing on this tile. It's yucky. I don't pre-treat my tiles. I heard somebody say they do. I don't. I just pour right on top of them. And then once they are cured, I resin them. Um, this off. Okay, so house paint. I want a little bit more blue showing through this time. So I'm gonna go. Hello. Put the emerald green. Maybe I should do a couple layers. You have to help me remember to torch before 
I put the cell activator on there. Keep forgetting to do that. These paints are super thick. You have to be careful not to over torch because you'll scab the paint and then it will look yucky. 24 karat gold. Now I'm like rethinking all the paintings and stuff I've done because maybe I've been just putting too much, too many different colors down. Maybe I should be simplifying these a little bit. I don't know. daughter's watching her favorite show called Tots. So I'm going to do the last three here. I really love purple and gold together. It's really pretty. Okay, let's do this. Oh, see, I did it again. Didn't torch. <sighs> Titanium white. I wonder how the XIM would react with the other point or the other cell activator. Maybe I'll do a test of that, mixing the two different cell activators. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous! So I'm gonna just scoop up a little bit of this and put it on the ends. Gosh, look at all those beautiful lacing and I don't know why it took me so long to use my hair dryer. I've been doing it with my mouth all the time. It works. I don't know. wrong with that. But that reaction is what I've always wanted. Just putting a little spillover song in the corners. Trying not to mess it up at the same time. Okay. I'm torch it up. Look how beautiful that is, though. I might have to play around a little bit more with the double cell activator because I love how the white is lined with the purple. It just adds an extra dimension, an extra layer of cool. Look at how the cells. It's incredible. I'm super satisfied with how this XIM product is working. I don't know if I showed. For those of you that haven't been following my journey, this is XIM. It's a latex extender I found at the local hardware store. Uh, currently, I'm mixing about a tablespoon of paint, and honestly, I haven't measured out exactly how much I'm using. I'm going to do that today. So I'm going to mix up a couple other colors and different brands. I've tried it with Liquitex paint, and it worked just fine. Not quite as good as Amsterdam, which I don't think anything is going to compare to Amsterdam. In all honesty, Amsterdam's paints are magic. I don't care what anybody says, they're magical. So I, I've tried that green Liquitex, and I'm not going to say the word because I can't. Like phthalo cyanin, uh, phthalo cyanin, or I don't know. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Almost there, guys. Almost there. I shouldn't be doing this in the house. Nobody has to look That's why I spread the paint off in between. I could photograph these drips and make a really cool painting. If my husband was right. I saw a drip go flying. I don't think I'm going to anything. Come here. Oh Everything that's down here pretty much is all garbage prints. They're all paintings that didn't turn out or that I don't like for one reason or another. I'm just going to that drip right there so that way it doesn't keep flying off. I just want this corner and this corner to finish spreading out the purple. And I think that's done. The dimension that spinning gives is just remarkable. I might do this in a Super pretty. Thank you guys for your inspiration. Has done these this way because this is making me very happy. I have to do more because I always like to do things in sets. I'm going to go up here. Okay. Are you guys ready for breakfast? What do you want to eat? You want cereal? Let me guess. Let's see if Mama can guess. Is it going to be chocolate cereal today? I knew it. So I'm going to go to this corner because it's not my favorite. Oh. Totes. Adorbs. Okay. So I just touched my finger on that edge. I'm just going to scoop up a little bit of this. I'm going to go like that. Make sure all the corners are good. I forgot to take this off because I was so excited to check out that. 
green to take over again, so I'm gonna use less. That is freaking beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna do one more because I got my paints out, and I'm gonna put these to dry in my usual drying spots. I'm just wipe up these, this mess before I start the next one. I'm trying to keep it from flying everywhere, so I go off in between, and then I don't have as much of a mess coming and spraying out at me. Daughter's watching talks, which I think she watches constantly. I'm like dragging my purple, might be. Okay, so purple paint. I won't do two layers of green this time, but I will go a little extra with the blue. Okay, so I think it works better to put paint on the corners. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, I get both my hands. Okay, so we've got green. So I'm gonna bring color shift. I'm gonna let the screen and the next one's cold. I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually bubbles popping in the paint right now. I can watch them. I just mixed. I just refilled my container before starting these pictures. These paintings, the tiles, or whatever you want to call them. I'm gonna do a little bit more of the gold shift. I'm gonna do my old, this is my face. I'm gonna do my old blue. Yeah, because I'm gonna do Okay, so I'm gonna do the purple cell activator. Make a big grip. It's purple. Oh, there's purple some white. In the white. Because I should be a little bit more careful. Okay, down there. Alright, this is the last one for the early part of the day. I've done a few videos in the last few days, but I need to edit a bunch. I'm not very good at editing, so kind of doing, trying to learn how to do it. Okay. I blow until I start seeing the cells change shape. Then I come back from the middle. Let's see what that does. Okay, so I'm gonna up these cool cells that are being pulled off by the way to paint, put them on the ends. I'm gonna just spinning, I'm gonna run over to again. Alright, let me wash my hands, take for a close up. Alright. I like these colors though, pretty. Alright, we're gonna start over here at the leaf. Really neat. Sorry, it's not in the ring light, which is sometimes better. Tile one, six by six tile. So three dimensional looking, isn't that neat? Okay. Tile two. Just really pretty. It's gonna be even prettier when it you can see the iridescent quality. Let's see what it happens when I shut my lights off. Yeah, my shadows. All right, y'all, if you like my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have, would like to see future videos, got to hit that bell so you get notified. All right, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you on the next pour. Have a beautiful day.